what you see is a geomet like light geometry, so it's light in light, uh, but it's very kind of like monochromatic scale, like it's like whitish and gray. And there are several spaces, there are five different spaces that they can experience, and uh, the way they can go through the spaces is actually by finding a, a center of each geometry, each space. And each time they pass the veil of light, they actually trigger different sounds. So it's interactive with the sounds as well, and uh, so each person will just like uh, have very individual experience. It's very particular for each viewer, so everyone will choose different path depending on how what they want to see, how they want to explore, how open they are, and what's their experience. So I pretty much feel it as kind of like a circular form. Uh, and the space that I built is kind of built as a sphere. So the sound is, is also in resonance with the shape of the space. You feel it as, it, as if it were to be eternal. The sound is really necessary for them in order to be able to spend time and get that experience. So the first time I got the idea was in 2003. I was at um, uh, Massachusetts College of Art in Boston for my graduate studies. I was working in space. I was trying to get uh, from painting for 2D surface to 3D space. Uh, and I started working with installation. I started working with lasers. Yes, I was just like kind of obsessed a little bit with light and like what the light is and what I can do with the light as a material. When I got first laser, it was like a miracle. Like I put a laser on the wall and I just look, observe that beam of light for the whole night. For me, it was the most perfect line that you can imagine, like light line without, without matter. Actually, it's there, but it's not there. You can touch it, you can just like... I was just thinking of how I can bring that experience to the other, how I can share that beauty of like something being there and just like not being a boundary with other people. And I was really thinking of very particular, very profound experience of having light without dimension, actually, like geometry without dimension, something like that. So it's really like precise uh, and you can stop it the way you want. You can give it color, vibration. You can see through it, you can see it in the space and you can walk through it. So that's something that it's not possible, like in physical world with the way that we see the light. I always wanted to make it in physical world. I want, it, I want people to have really uh, like experience with all, all their senses. But I like when people say something is impossible because I believe that everything is possible. So, and I was actually right, even though I didn't know at that point it's possible with virtual reality. For me, it was uh, very in uh, intriguing that it's possible with those kind of technologies to, to have that kind of like a uh, subtle experience of space where you are just going like deeper inside of yourself. I was a little bit prejudiced myself, I have to say. I didn't know, but I was just like, I was tempted to experiment because there was no other way for me to, uh, to bring the experience of light in light that I wanted. Uh, so I really believe that whatever we can imagine, like we just have to just free our imagination and. Uh, it can bring really awesome things to us. And the technology is not the problem, it's just the way we use technology. So it's all in our minds. We can really push it really in really profound and beautiful directions. Like we just have to open our minds and just like forget it's technology. It's just like a tool as an